How do we evaluate an opening day where England racked up 349 runs at a fair lick, against opposition with an average age of 22, who dropped more catches 5 than they took wickets for, with two further retirements and could seldom sustain pressure with the ball where there were four half-centuries for unestablished batsmen, but failures for the seasoned leaders, including Alistair Cook to the Tour's second ball before a run had been scored Mark Stoneman, who top-scored with a stylish 85 and put on 153 with James Vince after Cook prodded at the Wazai's captain Nathan Coulter Nile the one bowler of consistent quality England faced was encouraged and so he should be. He was one of those dropped on 54 low at goalie an area England's opposition stacked sensing a weakness but looked rhythmical and straight drove beautifully and cut powerfully too. He had asserted in the week that he conditions should suit him here, and backed that up in his first innings, explaining how England's preparation is moving through the gears. Finding rhythm in a match situation is important, he said. You can hit as many balls as you want in the nets but the intensity is not quite there. There will be tougher tests but there was nice progression from the work we have done throughout the week. A score helps you settle into the tour, and helps your confidence. It settles everything down, and you can hopefully try to snowball that and you're not fighting against anything, alleviating technical or mental issues in your mind. Stoneman and Vince did not know each other before this tour, but they are sharing one of England's service departments and, despite an early mix-up between the wickets that nearly saw Vince run out, seemed to gel. Whether it is by accident or design that they're rooming, it seems a bright idea down as opener and first drop for Brisbane, they should spend plenty of time together on the field, so might as well get to know one another off it. After weathering a testing opening spell, they cashed in as Coulter Nile used eight bowlers before lunch by which point boundaries were flowing and both men had reached 64 ball 50s. Slightly wild bowling in such a game, Stoneman explained, can actually help it can be a good thing. Your levels of concentration have to be high. If you have a couple flying down the leg side then, one right on the money, you'll make mistakes. Vince also reached the 80s but was less convincing outside off stump, a feature of his fledging test career. He was reprieved three times between 47 and 67, with the first two near-identical drops from cut shots. Coulter Nile, stationed at first slip, shelled both above his head, while a pole stung the hands of Midwicket, who could not take the catch. A better period of bowling after lunch saw Stoneman edge Lance Morris to second slip when driving, then Aaron Hardy, another young right-arm seamer, dismissed Vince, whose luck ran out when he flicked straight to Midwicket and Joe Root in the same over. Root had been tied down and was given out caught behind off the back pad, and did not hide his disappointment at the decision, and becoming the second of England's key batsmen to fall cheaply. It's not a good thing that they missed out, said Stoneman, but it is a bit of a lesser problem when it's two blokes with phenomenal records in test cricket and who know their games inside out. He makes a fair point, but only if the per score runs in Adelaide this week. Joe Root is less than impressed at his dismissal. Photograph Ryan Pierce Getty images next came the shootout at number 5 between David Malin and Gary Balance, who provided the final drop at second slip when on 36. Both played well, reaching half-centuries, and neither could be prized out but Malin remains at least a length in front for selection at Brisbane, thanks to his glorious driving here. He nailed his first ball, which came between the Vince and Root wickets, through mid-off and continued in that vein. With 75 overs bold, Johnny Bairstow and Chris Wilkes were given a crack, and they capitalized on a flagging attack in its fresh kookaburra. Still Coulter Nile, who may well make his test debut this summer and had caused Valance some trouble with the short ball, charged in, but Bairstow was in the mood, waltzing his way to 36 off 37 balls, and Wilkes was just happy to amble along in his slipstream. Things will ramp up as the tour goes on and greater challenges lie ahead, said Stoneman but that was a pretty good day for a first hit out. On the second and final day when the temperature is set to hit 33 degrees, he says, the aim is to take 10 wickets. If the Waz eyes batting is much like their bowling, that seems a pretty modest target.